Okay, we're here at the Venezuelan Embassy. Uh, the police uh, serve the activists who have been staying inside the embassy for over a month. They were served with an eviction notice and they were told to leave the building immediately. We talked to some of the activists and they said that they will not leave the building voluntarily. So there is a lot of people, mostly Venezuelan immigrants, outside the building, both both of my sides, and they're waiting here uh, with a lot of expectation for the police officers who are behind me to to get, go inside the building and uh, arrest the activists uh, who doesn't want to leave. The Venezuelan ambassador to the Organization of American States, uh, Gustavo Tarre, told us a few minutes ago that after the eviction notice was served, three activists left the building and only four remain inside. Uh, maybe a month ago, there was uh, in the peak, the, 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 the higher amount of activists who were sleeping inside, uh, my understanding is that was about 30. That was maybe three weeks ago. And, uh, but after the power was cut off last Friday, several activists have been leaving the, the building because uh, the conditions inside have deteriorated understandably uh, after the power was cut. And today, early uh, the, a few hours ago, the Venezuelan ambassador to Washington, Carlos Vecchio, announced via Twitter and in a press release that uh, the authorities had served an eviction notice to the activists. So we're here. Is, uh, past 11 p.m. here in Washington local time and there is a lot of people the the police block the access to the street to there is no car uh, traffic so there is a lot of uh, people a lot of anxiety a lot of expectation here uh, and uh, Tarre told us that he expects the building to be cleared out soon he said but we don't have a sense of timing so we're all waiting here as everybody else. I'm Luis Alonso Lugo. I'm the Washington correspondent for Latin American Affairs in Washington, D.C.